Welcome to the SEO.co Search Engine Optimization Podcast. Digital marketing essentials and next level tactics. From off-site and on-site optimization to persuasive selling and everything in between. You'll learn actionable tips on what it takes to outright and outrank your competition. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking about some of the things that you can look for to avoid connecting with a bad SEO reseller because unfortunately not all SEO resellers will be able to be able to or willing to provide you with the best possible SEO services. And because your client's goals are your top priority, you're going to want to be proactive in working only with the most reputable SEO agencies in the business. While there are a few gray area practices when it comes to SEO, for the most part, it's easy to spot a bad or black hat SEO reseller. If you notice any of the following warning signs, then you're going to want to search for a different provider. So first of all, any provider that promises too good to be true promises um, is something to totally look out for. If you find an SEO partner who's guaranteeing anything, then you should instantly be suspicious. SEO is different for every client, and Google's ranking algorithm can be hard to definitively predict. And it's almost impossible to guarantee specific results or results within a certain time period. So if their predicted results seem too good to be true, like predicting achieving rank one for a keyword term within a week, then you might want to pass. Uh, This is usually a sign that something shady is going on. Another warning sign is if their prices are extremely low. While there are plenty of SEO providers that offer affordable SEO services, you should be suspicious of abnormally low pricing. In many ways, you get what you pay for. Better quality writers, more seasoned account managers, and bigger, more robust teams will all lead to an increase in price. If an SEO agency can offer dirt cheap pricing, it's probably because they're cutting corners. Another warning sign is if they don't do any screening or onboarding. Most reputable SEO agencies want to make sure that their work is represented fairly and that they're working with real professionals. Accordingly, most SEO reseller programs have some kind of screening process or at least an onboarding process. If you don't experience any kind of due diligence as you sign up to be an SEO reseller, it could be a bad sign. Another warning sign is if you have difficulties connecting with them or their communication is inconsistent. As with any other business relationship, one of the most important factors for success is the quality and consistency of your communication. Your SEO partner should be working with you to better understand your goals, your clients, and how you work. They should be available and responsive the majority of the time. Their reports and messages should be clear and easy to comprehend. If in the early stages of your relationship, communication seems stilted, difficult, or inconsistent, take it as a warning sign. Another thing to look for is overt link schemes. Link building is one of the most important elements of any SEO strategy but there are right and wrong ways to go about it. If your SEO partner is participating in overt link schemes, like link exchanges or any kind of automated process, it's a red flag. These black hat practices will do more harm than good. You should also look for outdated practices. SEO is a field that evolves rapidly. In response to changes in search engine algorithms, as well as the development of new technologies, A good SEO agency will work actively to stay current with the latest trends. If they're using techniques that used to be effective in 2011, then they're not worth partnering with. Ideally, your SEO partner will offer transparency. They'll be open and honest with you about how they operate, who they hire, and what kind of successes or failures they experience. If they seem reluctant to reveal their tactics, or if they dodge your questions frequently, you're better off moving on to a different candidate. And just like anything, it's always smart to check reviews online. You can learn a lot from online reviews. Assuming you can find reviews for this agency, pay attention to not only the overall quality ratings, 
but also the specific things that reviewers are saying. Are there problems that every client seems to have in common when working with this agency? Do people tend to leave unsatisfied? Your SEO partner should be able to prove their worth as an agency in one way or another. Depending on the circumstances, they may be able to prove themselves with their own results. For example, they may rank highly for terms like SEO reseller program, or they may have ample case studies that show off their abilities and their results with, their, uh, with other clients that they have. Testimonials are also important to observe. Another thing to look for is a lack of reporting. Good SEO campaigns are built on data. Practitioners take the time to report on their results, study possible areas for improvement, and calculate ROI. Accordingly, your SEO partner should have consistent reporting processes in place. For example, they should be able to send you a sample report and commit to a weekly or monthly reporting strategy. Depending on your needs, you may request these reports to be white labeled so that you can forward them to your clients as if they were your own. I hope that these warning signs will help you avoid the bad and connect with a great provider. Thank you for joining us on the SEO.co podcast. We appreciate your time. Be sure to rate, review, and subscribe to the show and visit SEO.co for more resources based on today's topic, as well as access to more podcast episodes to help you improve your site's long-term SEO success.